Francis Turner. I'm the coordinator for Jefferson Workforce Development Board. We're at the Delgado River City site. We're hosting a career and employment expo, showcasing employers and training services for individuals in Jefferson Parish. We have the Youth for the Covenant House and some aging out of foster care youth and it's open to the general public. We're hoping to give access to everyone showcasing the available resources in Jefferson Parish as far as training and employment opportunities. The mission of the Louisiana Workforce Commission is to put people to work. We are targeting those young people between the ages of 18 and 24 who are experiencing homelessness and who are aging out of the foster care system. We want to provide them with the resources necessary for them to, be, to get high wage paying jobs. So uh, this will be a 12 week program during which they will earn an industry based credential so that they will be able to get hired after they complete these programs. Some of our youth face barriers and they have been subject to the juvenile system. So they're offering assistance on expungements, getting their records expunged, because um, as you're aware, it's hard to get a job if you have a record. If we want to be a safe city, if we want to be a safe region, and if we want to have economic diversity in our region, we have to offer these opportunities, positive opportunities to our young people. Our unemployment is at an all-time low. We have industries and, and employers who are looking to fill these high wage paying jobs. So they're here today to talk with these young people, to offer them positions. We have numerous employers here. They are high demand job, high wage jobs. We have training providers here who offer those trainings to associate with those jobs, to lead to credentials, which would lead to a more sustainable economy. We want them to know that they matter. We want them to know that we are listening and that we care and that we're going to do everything possible to make sure that they are successful in their lives. You're not going to save everyone, but if you save one person, you can save a family. When you save the family, you save the neighborhood. When you save the neighborhood, you save the city. One person. We have to focus on that one person. We are taking out all the stops. And this, I think, is a very innovative thing. And, and all of these partners coming together, it says a lot about our state, about our parishes, about the, the care that we have for this particular marginalized community. This is our future. We cannot forget about them.